Hello everybody, this is a Starstruck guy, and today we're talking about how tide arch bridges work. There are many types of bridges that have been evolved over the years, from the Roman Empire to our modern time. One of the most famous types of bridges have been arch bridges. Arch bridges, differing from tide arch bridges, are called thrust arches, which rely on horizontal restraint from the foundation like you see here. In many cases, such external strain is not feasible or practical because it can be replaced by a tie between the ends of the arch which can take the thrust coming from the arch, thus creating a tied arch. Vertical ties or hangers connected to the arches hang the deck from above. Tied arch bridges can be considered a combination between arch bridges and suspension bridges. Tied arch bridges are usually used for relatively short spanning distances over rivers or roadways. Those short distances can be up to 550 meters or about 1800 feet. For long distances like few kilometers or miles, Suspension bridges are used because they are the most economical. The tight arch form is one that is open to many interpretations. And with careful conceptual imaginations and attention to detailing can produce stunning and beautiful structures. Usually tight arch bridges have vertical hangers, although in some bridges the hangers are arranged to Crisscross, like you see here. Tied arch bridges can be designed in a lot of different ways and designs, with those variations occurring in, in the hangers and the height of the arch. But the basic structure, structural behavior for all tied arch bridges can be explained as follows. First, the bridge usually has a spin end that does not move vertically or horizontally, but the other end should have the freedom to move horizontally only due to temperature changes. When the load is applied on the deck, the load is transferred to the gravity beams below the deck and then transferred to the two ends of the beam which is connected to the hangers. The hangers transfer the load to the arch or you can see a similar transfer from an elevation view like here. You can think about this as a regular swing where your weight transfer to the seat, then to the hangers, then to the top beam which is very similar for the tight arch bridge but we have an arch instead of the swing's beam. The loading causes thrust in the arch which is balanced by tension in the tie beam spanning the length of the bridge. You can think of this as a regular bow used for archery or for hunting. The arch in either cases will deform downward and it will try to spread its feet. But this is limited by having to stretch the tie beam or the string in the bow. Hence, for the tied arch bridge, there will be a slight outward movement at the free end of the arch. This sideways deflection will be resisted by the column at the free end and eventually by the foundation. This whole assembly will bear all set on regular pier or columns. Those columns will take the vertical force component from the arch thrust which will be transferred to the foundations eventually. However, the lateral loading imposed on the bridge by wind or earthquake or both will be resisted by the X bracing below the deck or the bracing at the top of the arch. Eventually, all this lateral load will get to the columns and resisted by them and then will be resisted by the foundation. A parabolic arch is the best shape for structural efficiency because under uniform load there should be just axial forces in the arch members. However, the presence of the tie beam contributes stiffness to the system. This structural behavior will be the same for all tied arch bridges whether they are used for pedestrian or regular traffic. I had a chance to visit the first tied arch bridge in Chicago. It spans only 156 feet, 
and it is 80 feet wide. The design does not look that spectacular compared to other tight arch bridges, but you can see the basic elements of the bridge, hangers, gravity beams, arches, and horizontal bracing. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed this video, I appreciate your support. Please subscribe, like and comment so that you don't miss next videos. Thank you so much.